Welcome back all. Those of you who don't know me, I'm Daz from Monterey Techniques. This week we're going to continue on with the theme of using some of my 3D prints. This week we're going to look at putting some lighting in one of the land, little Land Cruiser tray top utilities. With that, I'm then going to attach it to a, an Arduino DCC decoder and then we're just going to play around with the lights, turning the lights very basically using that decoder using JMRI. So I might look at doing a more complex video down the track putting the code in another Arduino and controlling it for our train controller software. Big shout out to all my patrons out there. Without uh, you, this channel would not be possible. Don't forget to subscribe, like, click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming content. So without further ado, let's get started. MRT Scale Prints, helping you to add realism to your model railway. We are producing craftsman quality prints in various scales, including HO, O and N scales. We are proudly Australian owned and operated. www.modelrailwaytechniques.com All right, so the first thing we're looking at doing is using, using a little pin vise just to drill a pilot hole. That drill bit I got there is probably about a millimetre. So the reason why I just want to just do a, just a little bit of an indentation and pilot hole is because these prints are very, very susceptible to, to shattering if you're not. Now I've got the alignment and all that right, I get the net, the cordless Dremel out. So the drill bit I've got in that is a one and a half millimeter. And I've probably got that on speed maybe 10 or 15, just to ever so slightly drill that out. You know, so I don't want to go push it in too hard. So I've just drilled a portion of the way through just to make sure I've got the alignment correct. And the last thing you want to do is Put, apply too much pressure and that will literally obliterate the front of these resin prints. So what I'm now going to do, I'm going to go back in with the smaller drill bit which is about a millimetre, a bit under a millimetre and I'm going to draw that all the way through because I don't need the hole to be the, the one and a half millimetres all the way through. I just want a bit of a recess, just enough for the, the one millimetre LED bulb to, to fit in there. And what that it does is it just acts as a little conduit so I can actually push the cables through to the upper portion of the, the wheel arch. What we're going to look at doing now is installing the, the LED. So now I'm using some very, very small ones. So these are the 0402 pre-wide. We'll see if we can actually get that in focus for you. They are one millimeter by... half a millimetre. So very tiny, so hence why I get them pre-wired um, out of Alibaba, out of China. So I'll put a link to them below. So what we're going to look at doing, sorry, the colour that I'm using is a warm white. So it's got to be, the colour you're going to use is going to be very dependent on what era of vehicle I suppose you're using. So, so this is what I'm basically trying to achieve. Now so we've got the, what we're going to call the front end of the car here. Sorry for all the Menagia wires, but so we've got two headlights and two indicator lights at the front. And then the rear end of the car, we have the two brake lights, which is the red ones, and the two end indicators on the outside. So I'll just quickly take you through, they're, they're a little bit too bright for what I'm going to have them but just for the dis dis display I will let you know what they look like so the first one we're going to look at doing is so that's the tail light we'll start the the rear end of what's going to be the vehicle up here that's the indicator lights on what will be the driver's side in Australia and the passenger side in the US um, still need to make them a little bit more yellow and then indicator lights for the other side as I said, too bright. They're probably going to be more around. And then we're going to look at uh, the last one being the headlight at the very front end down the bottom here. So that's sort of a, a warm white light. So I'll just increase that intensity a little bit. That's too much. So as I um, as said in previous uh, previous part of the video, zero point. 402 which uh, LEDs pre-wired LEDs which is approximately a millimeter wide and uh, half a millimeter thick so they're actually very very tiny um, LEDs um, quite hard to wire you can see how small these cables are and 
I have seen some some other videos of guys putting them in uh, emergency service vehicles and having up to a ridiculous amount of um, LEDs, and I take my hats off to how you're going to do with uh, the cable management. I've still yet to work that bit out, but we'll uh, we'll get into that shortly once the paint dries on the chassis of the the car. I thought I'd just show you a very very quick circuit diagram of what I was showing you before. Obviously, obviously a lot of wires going in there, so. Um, I'm just looking at this now that isn't quite correct, but so in short, we've got the, the, the DCC decoder that sits in the middle, which is the Arduino Nano, which has got various digital output pins. So we're using each group of wires. So this is where I got the, the, the diagram wrong. So here's the vehicle LED. So the, the wires that I have grouped together are the indicators on any given side, left and right. I've got the brake lights together in one on one pin on one digital pin and also got the headlights on one digital pin so technically there's only four inputs here not the eight that i'm showing here so just be a matter of grouping these two together so from that we're using obviously the ground side now depending on what intensity you want and in regards to the resistor uh, depending on what resistor you use there so i've gone anywhere between 1k to 18 to to get the intensity right down. Now, so the DCC interface, which I will show you in the very shortly coming up in this video. I'm not gonna show you actually how I made this. I might do it on a, an upcoming video. Not actually my design, it's a Dr. Uh, Jeff Bunzer link below. I'll show you all about that. So, and then DCC++ EX, which is the DCC command station that I'm using. So that's just a very, very quick uh, circuit diagram on what we're looking at moving forward with this project. So what we're gonna look at doing here is adding some of the, the LEDs to the model. So what I've got there is a cocktail stick with some Loctite CA glue. So you can see I've already put the, I've threaded the, the, the headlights up into the recess where the, the headlight's gonna sit. And I'm just gonna just glue the, the cable in behind there just to try to keep them out of the way the best I can. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of painter's tape there just to start to ne neaten up the wires because we've got eight LEDs we're gonna have on this thing. So that's um, 16 wires. So it's gonna get very, very overloaded very quickly. And as you can see, I've just pulled one of the wires out, case in point. So just make sure the glue goes off before you, you move on to the next one. So I'm just tacking those, those wires as we previously spoke of. Now, for the interest of keeping this video as short as I can, I've gone through and added the, the, the headlight on the right-hand side or the passenger side, Australian passenger side. So we're just gonna show you some of the lights working now. You'll see the indicators come on just on those left, there's the left one. So I didn't actually show you how to do that purely because it's just drilling a one millimeter hole front and back, threading it through, no different than I did with the, the headlight. I just wanna to try to keep this video as um, short, sharp and shiny as I can. So, so here's a bit better view of the rear end. So it's meant to have two brake lights, but just as I was recording this, I blew one, don't know what reason why, so I have to go back in there. So you can just see, the little wire there, I've just drew a one millimeter hole in four places and then obviously the indicator is going and it's just a matter of threading the cable through no differently than I did the headlights, just haven't glued those in yet. So what I'm gonna show you now is the, the DCC setup. So, and also the Arduino Nano that's running the DCC decoder. So trouble with the DCC using the Nano is with the command station, and I'll explain what all these components are in a sec. So the command station, you got 12 to 16 plus volts coming in, whereas the Nano can only handle five volts. So I've had to make up on this little um, R&D board here, um, like a DCC input converter, and I will show you the schematic of that very shortly. So here is uh, just the, the schematic of Dr. Bunzer's DCC interface. Now, he's written a, a rather lovely article on the Model Railroad Hosbius, and I will link that 
in the description below. So in short, um, in the article, he describes the small, simple interface, which is the, the diagram there, which basically converts the DC sig signal allowing for the use of a wide range of Arduinos, Raspberry Pis, and other little processes like that to, to, use, to utilize the, the DCC signal straight from the layout bus. He goes on to be using a, an Arduino Mega, which then allows 67 inputs and output pins to, uh, to use in his decoder. We're not gonna go that far. I'll probably go into about 11 or 12 on a Nano. So as I said, I'll link that below. Great little article. So we'll go through briefly what each component does and what the end product I'm trying to achieve is. So this first one down here at the bottom is the, the command station. So that is that is a DCC++ EX. You can use any command station, Z21 like I've got out my layout room, NCE, Digitrax, the list goes on. So as I said, this is the, the DCC interface. So I've got DCC coming in to the Optio coupler and then out to the Arduino, which holds the sketch for the, the DCC accessory decoder. So the buck converter here is purely just for uh, powering this, this little guy up. And then with the DCC decoder side of things, um, all these pins on the outside, or majority of them, represent a an output of some of some description. So this one's actually got 11. So you'll see the three little LEDs, which will replicate a little bit like the truck down the bottom here. So what I've set up is within JMRI is just a whole lot of basic uh, turnouts, which they act as a switch, which turns them on and off. So you can see down the bottom here, I'm just going through and switching all these off. So this is just a little R&D board that I made up to get LEDs working. So at this point in time, you must be thinking, why am I using all these technology microprocessors just to turn lights on and off on a little truck? So what I'm gonna look at doing, eventually I'm gonna have another one of these nanos, which I'm pointing at there, that will be switched on and off by the decoder, sorry, the DCC decoder via a soft panel within Train Controller, or if you want to use JMR or iTrain, Rock Rail, or whatever your. So this software will then have a soft switch. We'll activate the DCC decoder, which will then turn will act an Arduino that will run a sketch, which will control all the lights independently or automatically. Okay, so that's uh, the end of this video. So. Very short video on just how I step through adding some lighting to this. So as I pointed out, I'm gonna look at doing a more comprehensive video that's gonna go through probably using train controller to control these lights via the DCC decoder. So there's obviously a few steps I didn't show to the various reasons. One, I really wanted to keep this video short. The actual installation of the lights, it's very similar all the way through it's just a matter that the cable management which is on something i'm gonna to have to work out so please comment below if you've done a similar project and how you did it or you're one of these uh freakish modelers that has put them in some emergency services vehicles as i said i i vaguely remember watching one youtube video and i think they were up to nearly 30 leds in a in a fire truck so really interested in see how you guys and girls out there may do these types of products uh, sorry, these projects, I should say. So, um, end of the video. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment below. So, see you next time. Make sure you subscribe. Click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Support us on Patreon. Like us on Facebook and Instagram at Model Railroad Technique.